Hey everyone, uh, Steven here, and welcome to my little library of horrors. Um, I know it's been a couple months since I've uploaded, but, uh, you know, life gets busy. But, uh, so I won't bother you with the details or anything like that. Life just gets busy. But, um, this video is going to be a little different. Um, normally I kind of write my reviews. Um, I upload them on Goodreads. If anybody ever wants to check them out, you can find me over there. Um, Little Library of Horrors. But, um, uh, yeah, for some reason, this book, I don't know. It, I just can't seem to get my, my thoughts into, like, written word about what I want to say about this book. Which, in and of itself, is kind of good, um, for the book. I, it's, it's always been kind of toted as really unique, and, um, I would, I would agree with that. Um, I don't think it's completely unique. I think for the time it, it certainly was, uh, even in today's standards, it's, it's unlike any other kind of book that I've read in its genre. But, um, the book I'm talking about is Wet Work by, uh, Philip, Philip Nutman. Um, but basically, yeah, this is a book that I read in a week. I honestly burned right through this book. It's it's been a while since I've I've found a book that um I found myself like reading in the car when I'm waiting to pick up my kids or while I'm making dinner I can read a couple pages here and there and you know it was it, again it's been a little while since I've read a book that's made me want to do that and um yeah so this this was great. Um, so what's it about? Well, when I say zombies, what do you normally think? You know, um, oh, there's survival, obviously, and the collapse of civilization, and, we, you know, you get the, the preacher stereotype, and, um, maybe somebody with supernatural abilities or anything like that, or zombies that walk around and eat flesh, and obviously, and things like that, but I doubt you're gonna think spy espionage, and that's kind of what really makes this very unique in the zombie genre is it's it's a typical zombie story almost but it adds this spy element to it like it starts off with um a hit mission that goes wrong and it it follows one of the the main characters i think his name's Corvino and, uh, yeah, so he is a hitman for the CIA and he's on a mission and, uh, it's supposed to be a typical mission or whatnot and things end up going awry and it's kind of like a whodunit at the end. He tries to figure out who sabotaged the mission. Um, and then something else happens later. I won't spoil it. That is really cool. That just adds another element of the whodunit to the story. Um, there's another character, his name's Nick, he's a, a, a rookie cop, his story's kind of typical, a uh, rookie cop with an alcoholic dad that wants to prove he's different, but he actually isn't in, this, in, in the end, and da da da. Um, so, not a boring character, I really enjoyed his, his side plot, um, but again, kind of typical. Um, and I guess another unique thing about this is the zombies are sentient. Um, which this isn't my first experience with sentient zombies. Um, I've read, uh, The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey and, uh, The Rising by Brian Keene. That's one of my favorites. Um, they both have zombies that are sentient, but, um, with this one, it, it's, there's different levels. Like in those books, all the zombies are kind of on the same intellectual level with this there's some corpses that have more memories of who they were as a human over other zombies who who just don't they they tend to be the typical you know grunt if you will um but the other zombies are able to fight their urge it's almost kind of like land of the dead in a way where you know uh, what's his name big daddy i think um i could be getting that wrong it's been so long since i've seen that movie but um anyway um, some of the zombies are sentient and, and are aware, can use weapons and, um, yeah, they eventually build their own new world order in a sense with zombies. And, um, 
I, I another unique thing about it is kind of how the disease plays into the zombies. Um, again, I don't really want to spoil it too much because, well, obviously, if you want to read it, I don't want to spoil it. But it was really cool um, how the disease affected the zombies overall. Um, I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, I It's something I haven't read in a zombie book before, so I, I really enjoyed that. Um, what else? Um, the ending was good. I, I did enjoy the ending. I, I think, um, I definitely think it was how it should have ended. I enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I definitely enjoyed the story. Some gripes I have about it. It's definitely, some of the wording is absolutely a product of its time. Like there's definitely a lot of stereotypical, I guess, descriptions of certain people, a certain race. And, and even in one point there is like, you know, the band and uh, well, not the band, the rap group NWA, um, the way their, their full name is said in here is just completely wrong. And it just kind of made me cringe a little bit. I was like, Cause like even, even back then before Google was a thing, like, they were pretty well known. I don't know if it was said more to be in more in the character's mind who was saying it. It wasn't like actually said by the character. It was kind of just like overall part of the description of the story. But um, yeah, like I said, it would kind of it's definitely stereotypical. And but again, this is like early '90s, so you take it take it with a grain of salt, I guess. Um, what else was there? Um, I think the pacing was pretty good overall. Like I said, this was definitely a book that had me wanting to continue. Um, it's broken up into kind of like dates and times. I'll see if I can find one somewhere. So yeah, it's like almost like chapter breaks because they're really big chapters, but they have these little breaks down here that um, like I, uh, for me personally, I think really help with the pacing of any book that tends to have long chapters, you know, you kind of, it, it's good for me. I'm, I'm really busy a lot. So I'm able to pick up, put it down, pick up, put it down without losing a lot of information of where I was in the story. So I think for me personally, that's a huge plus for this book, which, uh, yeah, so that, that's definitely a plus for me. Um, yeah, uh, the characters were good. Like I said, there's Corvino, um, and Nick, um, there's Nick's wife. I can't remember her name. I would say Sarah or Sal, not Sally. I think it's Sarah almost, but anywho, um, you get a pretty good variety of characters. Um, I, th I think another of like probably my biggest gripes of this book would be, I wish there was more zombie action, to be honest. Like there's not there's action, like, there's, like, some really intense scenes with, like, a lot going on, but, like, as far as the actual zombie attacks during this fall of civilization, there wasn't that many. There wasn't that many, which was kind of weird to me, because, you know, it's a book about zombies. You'd expect more zombie action. Um, obviously, near the end, there's more, but, like, not in the sense of typical zombie that action that you would expect, like, you know hordes and senses like that it turns more into almost like a concentration camp for humans and uh you know they corral women and children as you know tender meat basically and uh they put the men to work in the in the fields and things like that and uh but yeah so i really just kind of wanted more zombie action overall from a zombie book i guess but um but like I said, the book and the story in itself is really good that it kept my interest the whole time. And when the zombie action did happen, it was great. I loved it. Uh, a lot of the the scenes are really well written. Like every sentence is just perfectly placed. Um, but yeah. Uh, so overall, I would give it about a four out of five. I definitely think it's a unique book, um, especially in the zombie genre. Um, it was fast paced, broken up enough to where if you're busy, you can pick it up and put it down at any time. Um, 
a good variety of characters, but not overwhelming to where you get lost as to who's who. Um, and yeah, just honestly, just genuinely a really fun time overall. I think that's the best word to describe this book was fun. I, I just really had a blast with it. And uh, yeah, so I would definitely recommend picking up a copy if you can. Um, if you're into zombies, apocalypse books, um, if you want uh, books that show the beginning, middle, and end of civilization, this is a good one that does it really well. Um, but yeah, overall, I would absolutely recommend checking out Whip, uh, Wet Work by Philip uh, Nutman. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for me today, guys. Um, I have a super awesome haul coming today, actually. I'm just waiting for my wife to get out of, uh, yeah, me looking at my imaginary watch. Um, I'm waiting for my wife to get out of a training right now that she's in, but uh, yeah, um, big horror lot. I'm overall getting eight boxes of books, which is a big uh, mix of fantasy and mystery and stuff like that, but the horror lot itself is 60 books. Uh, I think even possibly more. I think maybe closer to 70. Um, I have no idea what's in them. I uh, She sent me a couple screenshots. Um, and I saw like maybe three or four books out of the whole pile. But yeah, uh, definitely look forward to that. I'll be doing a live video um, over at the Night Shift Horror Group over on Facebook. If you want to check them out. Um, everybody over there is really cool. Um, it's a great group. I always post my reviews over there, my videos, any finds I get, things like that. Um, it's a really cool community where we talk about everything horror. Um, so shout out to uh, everybody over there. You know, you guys are always really cool and I appreciate you always checking my videos out and reading my overly obnoxious reviews. Um, but yeah, I always appreciate it. But, uh, yeah. So until next time, guys, thanks for checking it out. Bye.